Hey, in this video, let's go ahead and see what it would take to do a quick play blast uh, here in Maya. So sometimes when you set up your uh, characters, you can set up the lights and it looks really nice in the viewport. And of course, then you can go ahead and render this out uh, using Arnold and uh, have beautiful uh, final output or animation. But sometimes um, if you are showing it to somebody and maybe you don't really need to uh, create really high-end, high-quality uh, rendering that takes a really long time to render. Um, you could just do a quick play blast of whatever you have right here and it's going to render out uh, just the way it's looking in uh, the viewport. So for example, if I press play, I have the sill animation of the character just, um, you know, just being silly, right? So. What if I didn't want to render this out and I just wanted to do a play blast um, uh, rendering? How do I do that? Well, if you go into the animation tab, you can go into playback and then there is something called play blast. If you go into the options, you can see um, a few options here, right? So time slider is one of them. Um, right now my time slider is set to one through 30. So I'm happy with that. Uh, that's fine. I don't need to specify a specific number. Um, you can also show ornaments or hide the ornaments. That's this data here. And you can also check the, um, choose the format, right? Right now it's set to uh, H264, which is fine. The display size, you can adjust that. You can set that to custom. But I'm just going to leave everything as is and just do a play blast. And as soon as you uh, press it, you will get a preview. Uh, animation and here's the uh, reason for this video sometimes your play blast might not look the same as it does in the viewport so for that you need to adjust your color management uh, output that creates the play blast video so let's go ahead and hop into uh, settings and go into color management and then here if you scroll down you see something called output color transform preferences if you check that you have a few options. Uh, mine is set to, uh, you can play with these and see what, you know, which results you like better. I'm just going to leave this at uh, this one, ACES 1.0, uh, and say save. All right, and essentially what I'm trying to do is have my Play Blast video look very similar to what I'm seeing here in the viewport in Maya, right? So let's go ahead and go back to play, uh, playback and do a play blast and render that out. And as you can see, uh, the color matches pretty close. Of course, you can uh, saturate it even more by bringing it to like a video editor or um, you know any other ocean of tools. But the bottom line is uh, keep in mind that play blast is very powerful. And as you can see, as long as you have your anti-alias button turned on right here and your uh, shadows are turned on the shadows and the ambient occlusion so these three buttons uh, the output of play blast is very nice and if you bring this into something like adobe premiere or any other video editing program you can actually get really nice results um, that was generated literally in seconds. So even if you have an animation that's a few minutes long, a play blast will do a much faster job than, for example, rendering with Arnold. So it's just another option to keep in mind. I wanted to show you that. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.